Well, hi everyone. Steve, Steve from Oregon, as I go by on this new YouTube channel. Uh, as I mentioned in my intro video, uh, my main YouTube channel is called Steve the Amateur Story, and because I do a lot of exploring around urbex, but it all comes back to like really wanting to know the history of the you know world that surrounds me, and. I kind of started transitioning that into more of a, like, this is me and my life YouTube channel, and it was just getting way too cluttery, and a lot of people that's, pretty much everyone who subscribed to my channel subscribed for my amateur story and content, not for my, you know, life stories and, and things of that nature, which I was kind of cramming into that channel, so I finally just decided it's really easy to create another YouTube channel, separate the content, make it a little bit more, um, reasonable. Uh, any videos that I've done that aren't kind of in the amateur story in vain, I'm going to leave on that channel that I've done to this point. But from here on out, uh, any videos like that, anything I want to talk about, I I'm always thinking about random things, random moments from my life. I love when people go on YouTube and share these crazy moments in their lives, so I figure I might as well try doing that too. That'll be a big aspect of this channel. Uh, random observations, you know, if I'm out and about and see something crazy that's worth being on video, I'll post it here. Uh, there, there's really no restrictions, um, to, you know, what I'm going to do when I can put on this channel. This, the lighting in this room, I think it's because it's kind of vibrating, uh, kind of fluorescent lighting. I'm getting this old, like, old school, like, when your TV doesn't have quite a perfect signal, something's in, whatever, I'm going to go with it. But I just wanted to kind of introduce myself to you guys a little bit, trying to do it as quickly as possible and not have this turn into a 20 minute long video, although no promises. Uh, but in short, uh, I'm born, raised in Oregon, I was born in 1985, I'm 33 years old, son of a bitch. Uh, I was born Providence Medical Center, right in the middle of Portland in 1985. Uh, lived in Portland for pretty much the first year of my life and I've lived in Portland for the last seven years six and a half, seven months, uh, but all that time in between 1986 to mid-2018 last year, I lived in Fairview, east of Portland, uh, but most of my life, 1992 to 2018, uh, almost 26 years, I lived in Oak Grove, um, Jennings Lodge, Gladstone area. Pretty much the whole area between Portland and Oregon City, I kind of peppered in that area. And as a person growing up, I always wanted to be a writer. That was my objective up until I was about 25, 26 years old. I, I, everything I was doing in my life led to me being a writer. I was writing novels by the time I was 12. They were kind of scatterbrained, but still kind of fun getting into the mind of someone who's just finished elementary school and is trying to write a 100-page book. Um, up until about 2000, 2011 was, I'd gone to University of Portland. I'd gone to Clackamas Community College for a long time, transferred to University of Portland to get my English degree, to move on and do, what I, do whatever I was going to do with my life. And... Fortunately, even though I still have incredible nostalgia for University of Portland, and I hated the fact that I had to leave after one year, my financial aid got screwed up, nobody contacted me, and by the time I figured it out, there was no way they could fix it, so I had about three weeks to come up with ten to eleven thousand, it was about ten thousand dollars. It wasn't going to happen. And so I ended up having to leave University of Portland, and it ended up being beneficial because I finally discovered my calling in life, which was to be a filmmaker. And I took a year off, but fall of 2011, I returned to college, back to Clackamas where I started. Instead of going for an English degree, I went into their digital multimedia program with a focus in film production. And pretty much since the summer of 2012, I have been a filmmaker. I've done, I don't know, about 15 different films, a couple of features. One of the big things you're going to see a lot on this channel in its early stage is me talking about and doing work towards my next big project. I actually decided, like about a month ago, that I was going to kind of go in really hard on a new project. It's going to try to make it the best thing I've ever done, as you know, you try to do with each successive film you do, or any successive piece of art that you want to do. And I made the decision to do something 
that really mattered to me, that was really strong, that I could really give my all into, something that was worth putting money into, something that was worth putting travel into, something that was worth putting a lot of time into writing a script and not just sitting down and just scribbling and seeing where it takes me, even though that's kind of how my best stuff has come about. It's just sitting down and writing and letting my mind take me where it wants to go. So my plans are to begin shooting that late April, early May, and most of my life between now, mid-January, and then is going to be getting this project fully together, set, cast, crew, location scouted, shot listed, everything down to the last detail established to begin shooting late spring. Um, and as a solo guy that's doing pretty much all of that myself, it's there's still a lot left to do. So there's, I'm going to be talking about that a lot, but that's my main thing is filmmaking. Even on my amateur historian channel, there's some like feature length documentary type things that I've done. And I mean, that's, that's really my life is, is film, but I'm constantly out and about. I'm constantly looking around for, you know, wild, goofy, kooky things that are happening around me. And I, I, I've, so trained to have my iPhone here, which I used to do a lot of videoing so close at hand, uh, which I mostly learned doing YouTube vlogging, kind of like what I'm doing now. So I always know to have my phone close at hand. If anything crazy is happening, I'm going to bust out my phone and take take something of it. So I honestly can say right now I have no clue what is ultimately going to end up, ultimately going to end up on this channel, aside from just general vlogging that I'm going to be doing talking about my life, uh, observations, things I'm thinking about, crazy stuff that's just happening around me. I really can't say exactly what it's all going to add up to. But aside from that, I'm a guy who is madly in love with the same girl uh, since pretty much 2011, since the day we met. And uh, we're living together. This is our, well, this is pretty much our living room space that I'm sitting in right now. Um, so yeah, a lot of my life is filmmaking, taking in the world around me, and being happily in love. And, I mean, that's really it, for the most part. Not that there's not a lot of other things that go on in my life, but that is my main focus. Everything that happens in my life kind of stems from one of those things. So, get ready, because I'm sure not, I don't know what's going to happen on this channel dead serious just i'm a guy named steve who has lived his whole life in oregon and uh everything on this channel is going to be a product of that so anyway hope you sign up subscribe share whatever you got to do to get through the day anyway guys uh till next time this is steve see you later